Okay, let's talk about the Washington Geometry EOC. And that EOC stands for End of Course Test. So if you're watching this video, I assume you're a high school student in Washington and you're preparing for the Geometry EOC. And that's very good because you're obviously taking uh, the test seriously as you should because all these EOC tests and the course tests have a real impact on your high school record. So, um, you know, uh, you definitely want to take them seriously because if you don't, if you fail them, you know, you're going to have uh, issues in your high school record. I don't know the specifics in Washington, how uh, it impacts your um, high school record and uh, completion requirements and grades, but it does have an impact for sure. So anyways, by virtue of watching this video, uh, again, you know, you're you're trying to prepare for the EOC and or the geometry EOC. And what we have here is a geometry uh, practice problem that uh, you, know, you should be able to handle pretty easily if you're fully prepared for the Washington Geometry EOC. So before we get to that, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm a middle and high school math teacher. Um, I'm over the years, I'm also the founder of Tablet Class Math, but over the years I've constructed many online uh, math courses to include a Washington Geometry EOC math prep course. Okay, that's a very comprehensive course that I've uh, developed. And I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video. So if you feel like you need some additional um, resources um, that help you out and prepare for the Geometry EOC, um, my course is uh, very top-notch and comprehensive. So you can check that out. When we get done uh, with this video, let's get to this problem here. Okay, so the way I like to do this is uh, give you the problem. Then I'm a, then uh, I don't want to tell you too much, okay? And then for those of you who need a little bit of a hint, I'm going to give you a hint, okay? So if you don't want to hear the hint, just pause the video, try to solve the problem. If you need a hint, continue listening, and then obviously I'm going to uh, uh, solve uh, the problem. Okay. So, anyways, for those of you out there that think you do the problem, go ahead and pause it and do it. All right, so let's get to our hint. Okay, so what's going on here? What's the situation? Well, we've got a couple lines. We've got another line chopping through here. But the key to doing this problem is uh, understanding what these little symbols are right here. So, when you have a little arrow and a little arrow, okay, in geometry notation, this indicates that these two lines are parallel, okay? So, for example, another way I could write, uh, state this, this might be line M, and this might be line M, so I can say M, uh, this line here, okay? So we have lines are parallel to one another, okay? So there's different ways that we can uh, state what's going on, but we need to know that these lines are parallel because when you when we have parallel lines and another line that chops uh, through it, okay, a line like this line right here, this line right here would be called the tra a transversal, okay? So we have a transversal chopping through two parallel lines. When you have that situation, you have a lot of um, angle properties that incur, okay? So this is a big part of um, what you studied in geometry. And um, so with that being said, that's my hint, okay? That's the situation here. So if you weren't quite sure, this is what you got, right? So you got two parallel lines, you got transverse, transversal, and you have a lot of things that are going on, okay? I'll give you one more additional hint, okay? You have things like vertical angles, uh, alternate interior angles, um, et cetera, okay? So uh, those are the type of things that you want to be thinking about here. All right, so let's get to uh, the problem, okay? And hopefully this kind of jogs your memory. Probably a lot of you out there are like, oh, I remember this. Uh, I, I know I can do it. I just need a little bit more information. So if you if that's you right now, okay, in this problem, then that's pretty good. But remember, when you're when you go in and actually take the end of course test, you got to have all this stuff, you know, ready in your brain, ready to go. So it's not you're going to have to be uh, more prepared than yeah. I kind of remember that, you know. What I'm saying you got to really kind of know it and just boom. But I have, all I will say this much: dealing with uh, property or uh, problems like this, parallel line properties, transversal. Uh, lines through parallel lines uh, are trans, uh, transversal going through parallel lines. This is a very, very, very common problem. So you definitely want to master all of the different kind of variations of this problem. Okay, let's get to it. So 
what you need to know is this, okay? This angle here, okay, that angle represented by 2x, okay, is the same as this angle here in its measure, okay? So this and this angle it, uh, are the same measure. Now we have 120 degrees right here. So we're, this angle right here is 120 degrees, this obtuse angle, but we know that the angle of a line from here to here is what? Well, that would be 180 degrees total. So this angle right here would be what? That's 60 degrees, okay? So knowing that this is 60 degrees and this angle 2x is the same as 60 degrees, you can just write a simple equation that's 2x is equal to 60, okay? And then we just go ahead and solve for x, divide both sides of the equation by 2, and we get x is equal to 30. And that's pretty much it, okay? That's, and this is a very easy problem, and there's a lot of different type of uh, variations of this of a problem like this. You know, when you're dealing with, again, parallel lines, transversals, etc., you can uh, you know, come up with a lot of different type of questions. So really make sure you know this topic well. But again, you know, if you if you got this problem right, that's excellent. Okay. If you struggle with it, use it as feedback to go back and prepare. But you know, you have a lot more to study than just parallel lines and transversals in geometry, right? Um, you have uh, similarity, congruence, circles, basic trigonometry, um, etc. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff uh, that you need to know. You're not even counting, you know, um, dealing with uh, proof and proving things and whatnot. Oftentimes, for uh, those of you studying, you know, geometry, you get caught up and trying to memorize all the postulates and theorems that you that you learned, okay? And so I don't know how your teacher does it, but the way I like to teach this stuff is don't try to memorize word by word every one of these postulates and theorems and properties. Um, there's some that you really need to kind of have memorized, but basically the main idea is you understand the principles, okay? Uh, the main concepts behind uh the postulates and the theorems, okay? I know there is a lot and it can be overwhelming, but, you know, um, that's why you really got to listen to your teacher and what they emphasize, okay? Or uh, the things I emphasize in my prep course. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So, you know, simple pop quiz, uh, basically. Again, if you got it right, that's excellent. If you didn't get it right, again, just use it as feedback. But, you know, even if you did get it right, it's by no way, you know, verification that you're completely uh, set. So I like to really stress in these videos or wrap up uh, these little kind of prep videos that I do is that always listen to your teacher first. Take full advantage of what your teacher is saying and all the materials that they're, uh, all the study materials that you're using in class, okay? Because your teacher is going to be the most up-to-date and informed on the Washington Geometry EOC, okay? So always, always, always start there. You know, as a teacher, I'm trying to get the best information direct up-to-date information to my students. So, uh, but there are times where, you know, what you're getting in a class, classroom isn't enough. So there's, you know, uh, it's appropriate for you to get, let's say, a tutor or get some additional study material. So a course like my Washington Geometry EOC prep course uh, would really benefit you. All my math courses have taken me years to build. Uh, so uh, I think you'd be really impressed. Uh, I can uh, certainly give you a lot of benefit as you prepare for the Geometry EOC. Again, I'm going to leave the link to that course in the description of this video. But uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, um, at the time of this video, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years. I have hundreds of videos on my channel. If you like my teaching style, that can help you prepare for the Geometry EOC. And I'm posting uh, stuff all the time. So hopefully you consider subscribing. If you like the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. What did... Uh, you know, how is math going? Did you like geometry? Did you not like geometry? Typically, um, what I find with students is, you know, even if they uh, like geometry, a lot, most students do not like the proof part, having to prove things uh, in geometry. So if you did some of that, uh, you know, where you're like, you know, do two column proofs, um, you know, putting your information and justification, that type of thing, uh, 
most students don't like that. Okay, <laughs> but I will say, if you ever went off to college and you considered getting a degree in mathematics, like I have, doing proof is probably the number one thing you do. <laughs> so, um, it is kind of you know uh, difficult when you first start learning, you know, logical, uh, uh, you know. Um, basically learning logic. That's what you're really doing, learning how to prove things. So anyways, don't get too um, wrapped up in that. That that comes with time. Uh, you know, you can develop into, you know, uh, learning the more, the more the application of proof later on. Okay, what's most important right now, I think, for your study of geometry is really to get those foundational things down, understanding parallel lines, understanding similarity, congruence, basic trigonometry, uh, circles, right triangles, all that kind of stuff. Really, really, I have to get get that down. Okay, um, but geometry, very, very important math course. Don't think that you're not going to see geometry again uh, in your future, uh, because if uh, you're planning to go to college, you're going to have to face some standardized tests like the ACT, SAT, or placement courses. Um, so you will see geometry. So don't get rid of your notes if you got good notes. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the Washington Geometry EOC and all your other academic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.